Hello. I'm excited to do another reading for you today. I'm building the recordings, building the channel slowly. Go ahead and click subscribe. This is free. And I want everyone to have a chance to just get the messages. And I really hope that these messages empower people. Uh, that's what my really hope is that they give people an opportunity, maybe a new perspective, maybe some hope. And if they do, please go ahead and um, share. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. And my website is always in the description box. I've been doing readings for a very long time now. And I love it. You know, I made the choice. I made the choice to sort of be a gypsy in life um, in a good way, you know. And um, there's just nothing better than seeing people make strides in their life and have healing. And I can connect with the dead. I can connect with the human race. I can connect with other dimensions, all of it. And I've just, it's been a joy of my life to be teaching that and practicing it daily. Okay, so someone out there to astral traveling. That's what I'm hearing. They said talk about astral travel, which is weird, right? I wrote a whole curriculum on astral travel. I teach it. I can public speak it. I've done some digital work on it. And if you're doing it, they're saying, you know, be patient with yourself. Don't, you know, some people spend their whole lives trying to astral travel. Here's the key is you've got to stop trying. Once you stop trying, you will do it. Okay. Once you stop trying to astral travel, that's the thing. You can't just be like trying, trying, trying because your ego is going to keep you in your body. Okay, you're not going to astral travel successfully if you just focus on the lack of astral traveling, release, continue your meditative practice, and continue to keep your vibration higher by eating right, by having good things around you, good people around you, um, and getting rest. Getting rest is the key, too, because if you're too tired, you're not going to astral travel, okay? Um, and I just wanted to share that with someone. That's what I was just getting. Um, spread your wings to now. Now is the time to expand. Create safe space for yourself. Like they're saying, you need. It's okay to create space for yourself. It seems that you didn't have space before. It's coming along. Okay, there's someone. Either you have an addiction problem or someone like that you're in a relationship with. But addiction can be everything. It can be shopping, internet, food, water, yoga. Some people get addicted to readings. Um, but if you are out of balance with something. Bring yourself back into balance with it, and then the people around you will come back into balance as well, okay? It could be contract. You're about to sign a contract with someone. Um, take a breath. Take a breath before you sign it. Mercury's going into retrograde Friday, and it's going to be in retrograde until about February 5th, so you don't really want to sign any contracts until mid-February. Try to put it off unless it's a redo, redo, repair. That's when you do that. Um, this is your time to really stand in your power. Bring your emotions in. Your emotions don't have to be all over the board. The trauma is over. Speak what you need. Go inward. Right now, it's really important that you go inward and you say, what is the, what is the ultimate outcome? I, what is the feeling I'm seeking, right? Am I seeking this job? What is the feeling you want financial freedom? And am I seeking this house? What is the feeling you're seeking? Stability, safety, security. Look at those issues, and then those outside goals will come. You'll get solutions to meet those goals, right? But you've got to look at why you're having those goals, right? What is the feeling behind those goals is what I'm getting for you. But you will move forward in life this year. Don't pass up money. Don't waste money. Now is not the time to waste money. Don't go into credit card debt right now. That's going to give you all sorts of shadow effect. You don't want the shadow effect. That you will have an opportunity to take a leap of faith. It's better to take a leap of faith than rack up credit card debt, okay? Um, because that leap of faith, you will land on solid ground. You will land on solid ground, and that's how you build into a better future for yourself. There's something around you that's going to be a disturbance. A change around you or, or a person is coming in. You've got fast news coming in, so shocking news. It might be shocking, and that's okay. Um, that happens sometimes. Because here's the thing. You've asked the universe for so much. You've got to make changes to get that, okay? You've got to make changes to get that. There's that death card. The death card just means change. It doesn't mean death, right? It means something is dying around you. It could be a part of you. It could be a phase in your life that you've grown out of. Um, there's support around you, though. You have a lot of non-human support, too. You have angels, ancestors, spirit guides, all of that around you. You even have children around you. Somebody's telling me those, children, those unborn children are around you and they're cheering you on too. Remember, light balance, light balance is dark. 
and day balances night, it's okay to acknowledge the light and the dark. It's okay to acknowledge your anxiety. It's okay to acknowledge your shadows, your addictions. You can't fix it until you acknowledge it, okay? And then you can successfully balance more aspects in your life. Um, then you can dive deep into the self-care that you're seeking. Like self-care sometimes means writing. Self-care means going to bed. Self-care means not overspending. Self-care is definitely eating better clean up that diet um, to meet those goals. And I don't say for weight loss goals because like, you know, you want health goals. You just want to feel good in your body. So change your perspective from weight loss goals to feel good in your body, okay? Um, and then the reason that I think that you're carrying additional weight is because it's past life. It's past life because you didn't want to be completely vulnerable in this life it's something about the vulnerability in this life that brought you like that your ego is holding on to extra weight for a past life regression may work or at least acknowledging and telling yourself hey it's okay to be healthy it's okay to be thin um so that's what i have for you for this one thank you so much for listening use all the tools in your toolbox definitely and share and like this message and i hope that it was helpful for you today empowering um, see my website. I've got psychic development coming up. I've got refresh, renew, release coming up. I have women's retreat, yoga teacher training. There's really exciting things happening with HYDF right now. Publications. I publish authors. If you want to get published, hit me up. Um, thank you so much and namaste.